In September 2019, we came down to preview what was said to be one of Scotland's next greatest golf links, Dunbarney Links. And here we are on the 29th of May, the first day after lockdown in Scotland, to witness the first tee shot. And it's Malcolm Campbell who's going to hit that shot, and what a cracking day he's got for it. Clive Clark and his, uh, his wife Linda send their very best wishes. They're devastated not to be here, obviously. We want to get this golf course officially open, so Malcolm Campbell, would you please do us honour? Thank you. Hey! hey. <laughs> well, that's it. Golf is back on the cards here in Scotland, and there's really no better place to start than the brand new golf course in the East Nuke of Fife than Barney Links. How good does it feel to finally have golf in play here at Dunbarney? Oh, awesome. <laughs> uh, it, it feels like, I, I don't know, it, it feels like a, a, a legal drug I've been on or something. <laughs> so just, just How did it feel having to postpone the original opening date, which was in May? Yeah. Yeah, it was very disappointing. You know, the it's, you know the two elements. You know, we're really excited. All the tour operators are bringing lots of business in, and financially, it's very important as well. So my role as general manager, I've got to look at the finances. So that obviously plummeted hugely. So then we go, okay, Plan B. So we've minimised the team that we've got here as well, and mm -hmm. uh, the minimised the offering. But also, all golf clubs have to minimise it anyway because of the, the social distancing. But also, they can't use inside clubhouses. So, so we immediately went to kind of Plan B that we'd never thought about before. Mm -hmm. and uh, you know, made the most of it anyway. Tell me a little bit about the clubhouse while you mention it because I know last time I was here there wasn't anything there at all and it's shot up but it doesn't look like it's quite ready. When no. is it opening? When they actually do get back against social distancing we had it there was a team of 45 doing a great job in there we were comfortably going to be ready for uh, you know early May mm. we're going to get in there and get everything looking pretty in the golf shop and getting the restaurant looking beautiful starts so if we say you know, middle of June, 100 days from there, it, it could be looking at September even, you know, mm -hmm. uh, to get it finished, which is really disappointing, but that's just the way it is. You yeah, know? in terms of obviously an area that's already quite saturated uh -huh. in Lynx golf, yes. what does Dunbarney offer as an experience compared to those? Yeah, um, I think it's a completely different experience. The size of plot of land that we have here, the, the footprint, 345 acres is massive. Most golf courses are maybe 120, 150 acres at the most. So. Uh, the views we have, we start inland about three quarters of a mile, and so we've got six holes playing directly toward the water, which is quite unusual. Uh -huh. And because of the, the the piece of land that we've got, you know, you might be going north and then you're going west and then you know back the way, rather than a lot of Lynx golf courses are kind of going straight in and straight out. So we're not saying we're better, absolutely not. It's mm. just a different experience altogether. And because of this huge footprint, you're kind of on your own in between dunes, you know, and you feel you're on your own, which uh -huh. I think is a, a lovely feeling. Yeah, uh, so brilliant. I think it'll be a, a good addition to the area. Accommodation mm -hmm. providers have told us that they're excited about uh, about us coming on board as well. I'm sure they are, and we're very excited to be here today. So thank you for having us, Thanks and so best much. of luck for all that lies ahead for Dunbarney. There are four tees laid out here at Dunbarney. We've got the blacks at 6,900. We've got the blues at 6,400. Forward of that, where the guys are hitting off now, the whites, that's 5,900. And in front of that, the reds, 5,400. Now there is a back back tee, which is well over 7,000 yards. So if you want to go ahead and hit off there, you can too. But I don't want to. <laughs> What about the challenge actually out there on the golf course? Can you outline some of the key features that we might find? So the way the course has been designed by Clive Clark, I mean, we want everybody to come here and enjoy their game of golf. I mean, the, the fairways are quite generous. Um, the bunkers are, there's a lot of bunkers that could be quite visual and not too penal. Um, on that, there's 50% there's natural bunkers and 50% revetted bunkers. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the natural bunkers are almost like uh, sand blowouts in the, into the dunes and they're, they're a very nice colour of sand, the feature going around the course mm. and you've got the, the revetted eco bunker. So a, an eco bunker, tell me more about that. It's actually astroturf, not natural stacked sod as it would be built on any normal Lynx course and turf for each step or each revet on that face it is two put together just to give it that better step back feel ah. uh, and it has it's actually turned out very very well we're very pleased with them now it's the first day of golf back in scotland since lockdown so there's a few ropey shots on the range but huge smiles on everyone's faces 
<laughs> By the way, I'm talking about my own shots. <laughs> if Dumbarney did have a signature hole, then it might just be this one, the eighth par three downhill with four rather daunting bunkers that surround the green. So it's a tricky little hole, but a perfect example of some of the scenery that you can expect to enjoy here at the course. If you look closely at the face of this bunker, you can see a perfect example of some of that eco bunkering that Graham was telling us about. Layers of astroturf built up around the face and well, it doesn't make it any easier than an already difficult part of the game. But I tell you what, that sand is absolutely beautiful. Clive Clark, who designed this golf course, wanted it to be an enjoyable experience. So whether you've got a low, mid or a high handicap, you can expect just that. So it might be the newest addition to an already strong lineup of Lynx golf courses here in the East Nuka Fife, but we believe this is a world-class golfing experience not to be missed.